All right, welcome back, folks. Hope you're all doing well. We got Mrs. Beer back in the driver's seat today. Welcome back, darling. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, the other day, the uh, the Taco Bell full menu challenge we did was really popular. A lot of people really liked that video, probably in no small part because of the way you pronounced quesadilla. Quadrizilla. Quadrizilla. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I thought that we would do the same thing pretty much, but with Dunkin' Donuts. It's been a while since I ate at Dunkin' Donuts. There's not really anything I can pronounce wrong. I don't know, we'll see about that, we'll see. <laughs> the thing about wearing these is, if you have a beard, you just look like a walk in pubic region. It's not, it's not a pleasant look. So can I get just I'm just gonna get one of everything so can I get Yeah? Alright, okay, I'll get can I get a large um caramel fudge yeah, frappe the and then maybe just like a regular um coffee. If that's okay. We're doing a we have to do a couple of trips I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here and wait for the rest of the stuff. I get the feeling that this probably won't look this good when we get it home, but you know, I'll still drink it. I have like a, I have a YouTube channel where I eat lots of food. Okay. So I'm gonna take it all home and eat it. All of it? Basically, yeah. Fantastic. All I'm gonna say is, have you got any honey roast wafer thin ham at your house? Oh, uh, we've, got, we've got more honey roast wafer thin ham than you can eat, Leslie, <laughs> let me tell you. No, we don't, I'm joking, we don't have any. <laughs> No, we don't. So, can you get. I'll tell you, there's a. Shut up! The roundabout and See, I'm trying to the second exit film here. And then God. Take the third exit so unprofessional. The next roundabout. What I was gonna say is, there's a real indignity in, in wearing a mask. I'm not complaining because it's, it's the right thing to do, but when you have a beard like this, it just doesn't look right. Maybe you should shave it off then. Maybe you should shut up. Let's get home. I want to eat all this delicious <laughs> stuff. That was a bit much. I'm sorry, yeah, darling. Maybe you should shut up. All right. So uh, today we're doing one of every single item or portion from the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts menu. And this is the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts UK menu. So if you're from overseas and you don't see your favorite item, like I don't know, breakfast biscuit, slam dunkachino, whatever they call them. <laughs> Uh, we don't have them over here. So this is uh, one of everything from the British Dunkin' Donuts menu. I'll throw up a calorie count on screen. We've got a bunch of stuff here. Donuts, obviously. Muffins, cookies, croissants. It's, it's, it's croissant, not croissant. Croissant? Yeah, there's no T on the end. It's a silent T. <laughs> there are a few breakfast sandwiches, some munchkins. My little munchkin. Of course, I didn't get one of every single drink because the, the reaction of the staff was one of shock and horror when I said one of everything from the, the the menu because there are like 40 different types of drink but I got one from pretty much like each section right so this is a basic coffee this is the frappe that's the what was that called culata. the culata and there's like a strawberry lemonade thing off the camera to the left so without further ado this is baby's food and this is the entire Dunkin Donuts menu who's gonna eat Ooh, that was a good one I feel like that was perfect. This coffee should hopefully be reasonably cold now. Right, let's get started with the breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's almost donut-y material that it's in. It tastes like egg in a donut, that's weird. Mm, that was nice though. I think this one has bacon in. What's up, Bidami? Welcome back. Gotta tell you, right off the bat, these uh, weird sliced donuts with egg in the middle, they sound odd, but um, they were delicious. I'm telling you, these things are the future. Anyway, got a little bit ahead of myself there. Welcome back to another video. I'm almost certain they don't have this in America. It's just like a sausage sandwich. Sausage sani. Oh yeah, best of British. Sausage sandwich, which is a bit weird because um, normally if you eat 
a sausage breakfast sandwich from an American brand or chain. It's usually a sausage patty, you know, like one of those hockey puck things. This was actual sausages. Okay, next we got a croissant, or as uh, Mrs. Babe would call it, a uh, croissant. This feels a bit, it's not the freshest feeling croissant ever. Yeah, you could, uh, you could use this as an improvised weapon to fend off other diners at the breakfast buffet in the morning. Fortunately, the, uh, the other two croissants were much fresher. Oh, that's the raspberry croissant. You see it's raspberry? I thought that um, maybe it was just like a, a faint hint of raspberry on the outside, but it actually has raspberry jam in the middle. It's pretty good. Yeah, big fan of this raspberry croissant thing. Very fruity. Could have used a bit more jam, but pretty good. This is a chocolate croissant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a, a pan of chocolate. Or a pan au chocolat, as they say in France. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or just, you know, anywhere with a Starbucks. <laughs> or, you know, pastry shop. This is like a Del Boy level <laughs> education in uh, the French language today. I'm sorry. Right. Let's make a start on the donuts. Let's go with this, uh, this regular sugary one first. Yeah, don't you think in bad time, right? Let's get stuck into those donuts. I won't uh, cover every individual donut because even if you look on the Dunkin' Donuts website in England, it's just a mess. They, they don't really have a, you know, a uniform menu at every location and most of the donuts are missing there. But I will say the best one probably was the creme brulee, but the Rocky Road wasn't without its charm. I tell you, there's not much, uh, not much coffee left in there. <coughs> I wish I'd, um... I wish I'd been slightly more frugal with the, the coffee. I suppose I have to use the whatever this is, caramel. Uh, yeah, caramel. It's a caramel frappe. I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Still woefully under researched. Maybe somebody could tell me in the comments what a frappe actually is. It tastes like kind of half banana, half caramel. Creme brulee. That one was. This one that you're going to eat now is cookies and cream. I kind of figured this was a uh, cookies and cream. Yeah, the the topping was the giveaway, but I, yeah, this one was a little underwhelming. Lots of cookies, not so much cream, you know, not very wet. It, it was a little dry. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Yeah, 14 minutes. This is taking forever. Time to bash through some more donuts. There are a couple of duplicates. Not really sure how that happened, but I'm not complaining. There's something quite relaxing about watching you just shove donuts into your face. <coughs> <coughs> somebody, um, somebody messaged me the, the other day and they said, um, I love watching your videos when, you, when you're close to the mic, it's pure ASMR. And I thought that must be the most hectic ASMR ever. It's not exactly relaxing, is it? I'll be like... <laughs> Right, what next? There are two duplicates here, I've noticed. So, one of everything from the menu plus another two donuts. Yeah, by the way, that wasn't a joke. Somebody actually did send me that message. I can't imagine that there's anyone out there watching my videos for ASMR purposes, you know, to relax. <laughs> but if you're one of that crew, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Honestly, it's, it's impossible to eat these types of donuts without making some kind of mess. <clears throat> you say this is Rocky Road? Mrs. Bird used to, back in the day, she used to make me a, a big slab of Rocky Road, you remember, every Saturday? Yeah. Wow. You, you sweet. Yeah, those were the days. The honeymoon period, back when we first met, Mrs. Bird used to bake me up some goodies for my uh, once a week cheat day. Finishing with a little smiley face. I can't tell. It all just tastes like sugar now. 
Yeah, there comes a point with donuts like this where you just kind of lose the ability to detect flavor. It just, it just starts to taste like sugar in your mouth. Just a few things left now. Let's go with the lemon muffin. Yeah, we, we could probably call it a palate cleanser at this point. Um, although nobody would really refer to a muffin that way normally. But this was pretty zingy, you know, it was tart. Uh, quite refreshing. <laughs> oh, it's strawberry lemon. It is atrocious. It tastes like, um, it tastes like soap or something. Oh, at least it's wet. I think I've used the word wet a little too much on this, um, <laughs> on this particular video. But uh, yeah, I mean, the only part here that really disappointed me was the, the frozen drinks. They were just, I wouldn't normally say something was, you know, downright awful, but these are like a two out of 10, they're terrible. Of course, <clears throat> you can't buy one single munchkin from Dunkin' Donuts. You can buy a six though. So we bought two sets of six. Oh, I thought it was 12. Yeah, 12. <laughs> but um, they only do two varieties. I know in America they do like all these different types of munchkins, like cinnamon, the jam filled ones. Here it's just chocolate and basic vanilla. But I do seem to have. Uh, been given a bonus seventh chocolate munchkin. So now we have 12. It's the kind of celebrity perk that comes with the infamy <laughs> of having 1 million subscribers. No, I'm joking. I think it was just a mistake. Probably two of the sticky chocolate ones just got stuck together. Well, this has got some big lump of something floating in the top of it. Oh, the frozen drinks are so bad. Oh. They told me one of these was caramel. They look identical to me. Yeah, one was supposed to be caramel, the other chocolate. They both just tasted like chocolate chips to me, but they were pretty good, you know, nice and girthy cookies. Um, and probably the less said about Mrs. Beard's only impression, the better. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. So last weekend with the, uh, with the rice pudding, that was some uh, stretchy belly training. On Thursday, that was some jaw training. This is like sugar training or something. You know when they have um, fighter pilots, they try and uh, train them to sustain. You know, they, they try and teach them to put up with G-force so they don't pass out. Please tell me you're not comparing yourself to a fighter pilot. Just stick with me. It's the same with sugar. You gotta try and train yourself not to just fall asleep, <laughs> pass out. <clears throat> this is disgusting. <clears throat> so There's just a big chunk of ice in the bottom of that, so. <clears throat> we'll call that done. <clears throat> that was the entire Dunkin' Donuts menu. That's giving me a little bit of brain freeze and uh, Shoulder freeze, actually. Or maybe I'm just having a heart attack. I don't know. Is that normal? I should say, this is empty. It's just, you know, the munchkins came in this. I thought it looked cool, so. I don't know where to put the timer. Move them little nuggets out of the way at the front. Little, like, nuggets of poo. Nuggets of poo? What's wrong with you, man?